After winning the lottery, Gerald got very rich. He bought a huge villa and hired an art dealer to invest in some masterpieces. The art dealer convinced Gerald to buy a very expensive antique statue for his collection. One day, Gerald's daughter came to visit him. He boasted about the statue, but his daughter began to laugh. She said that scammers had deceived Gerald. Why did she say so? There's a small engraving on the statue. It says, Made in China. Wendy is the president of the local reading club. Its members usually gather in her home because it's large and beautiful. But one evening, someone hit Wendy on the head in her library after the club meeting was over. The girl didn't see who it was. The next day, police officers questioned three suspects. Melanie said that she had left the meeting earlier that night. She had a night flight to Paris. Kelly said that she had been the last person to leave Wendy's house, but she hadn't noticed anything suspicious. Amy was absent that day because it was her husband's birthday. Who is lying? Melanie, if she had a flight to Paris, why isn't she there? Take a look at this picturesque field. Can you see anything weird? This sunflower over here. Josh worked as a security guard at a large international airport. One day, he received a call from the cleaning staff. They found someone's dog. Josh had to figure out who was the dog's owner. Take a look at these passengers. Can you identify the dog's owner among them? This guy over here has a bone in his bag. And there's dog hair on his pants. He must be the owner. Take a look at this pattern. Can you spot the odd emoji? This parrot over here has different wings. Jason has recently been hired as an art gallery assistant. He got a large delivery one morning. Five rare paintings from the Middle Ages. Jason called his boss immediately and told her that two of the five paintings are fake. How has he figured it out? There's a skyscraper in the background of this painting. And this picture seems to be authentic, but look at the sky. There's an aircraft flying among birds. Take a look at this picture. Can you find the odd emoji? These guys over here. After a long road trip, Lily finally arrived at her friend's wedding venue in another city. The food looked very appetizing and Lily was starving. So she headed for the table, but suddenly the lights went off and Lily fainted. She woke up the next day with a terrible headache. Just like all the other guests, none of them remembered anything about how the party ended. Look at these two pictures. They were taken before and after the lights went out. Can you guess what happened at the party? The balloons popped. Someone had filled them with sleeping gas. This person wanted everyone to fall asleep. It might have been done to help the bride run away because she's absent this morning. Jill is an art teacher. One morning, she entered her art studio and got very surprised. The entire wall and the students' drawings were stained with paint. Jill interviewed three suspects. The cleaning lady hadn't cleaned the class the day before because she'd had a day off. Jill's student Rosie said that she had left the studio at 6 p.m. At that time, everything was okay. Another student, Rick, confessed that he had brought his girlfriend to the studio to show off his paintings. But they left at 8 p.m. Who is responsible for this mess? The cat! It got into the studio through an open window. Take a look at this picture. Why did he tie his friend down? It's a full moon. His friend began turning into a werewolf and the guy got scared. Two guys are trying to get Hillary's attention by showing off their money. 
The first man sends her a selfie of him near a private jet, and the second sends a photo of him wearing a pilot's uniform and flying a jumbo jet. Whose salary is higher? Pilots earn good money, so the second guy is definitely well off, and the first guy probably just works at the airport. Four artists gathered in a park to paint landscapes. Having finished his first drawing, Bill went to the bathroom. When Bill returned, he found out that his drawing was ruined. He was very upset and questioned his friends. Stephen didn't see what happened. He was away buying coffee for everyone. Dylan didn't look at the paintings. He was distracted by a conversation with a beautiful woman. Kelly said that she'd been painting her own portrait in another part of the park. Who's lying? Kelly, if she had been painting, why is her canvas blank? Stephen had a rough day at college, so he decided to relax and went to his favorite restaurant with other students. Sam, Jill, and Jules each ordered a cappuccino. Rebecca, Peter, and Helen each ordered an espresso. What drink did Stephen order? Cappuccino or espresso? Espresso. Stephen has two letter E's in his name, just like Rebecca, Peter, and Helen. Can you spot anything weird in this picture? This coconut doesn't look as fresh as the others. Henry was walking along the street. Suddenly, a witch appeared in front of him. She opened a portal, grabbed Henry, and took him to her castle. Henry asked her to let him go, but the witch said, Now you will serve me forever. Henry had a notebook and a pen in his pocket. He offered the witch a deal. If I write your weight in this notebook, will you let me go? The witch was very intrigued and agreed. Henry wrote something down, and she had to let him go. What did he write? As promised, Henry wrote, your weight. Can you guess the food by these emojis? It's sushi. How about this one? Hot chocolate. Let's take it up a notch. Can you guess the dish by these emojis? It's pizza. How about this? It's a cheeseburger. Can you guess the food by these emojis? It's fruit ice. How about this combination? Any ideas? That's right, it's french fries. The next product. You probably like it hot. A peanut butter cookie. How about this combination? That's right, it's a salad. Jack bought his girlfriend an expensive dress for her birthday. He left the dress in his wardrobe and left the house. When he returned, he saw that the dress was gone. Only three people were at home that day, and he questioned them. Jack's sister, Laura, said that she'd been cleaning the house since morning. Jack's mother, Rose, had been planting flowers in the garden. And Jack's aunt, Nina, had been cooking a birthday dinner all day long. Who stole the dress? It was Jack's mother. There are no flowers in the garden. Take a look at this picture. Can you find the odd emoji? This guy over here. One day, Mr. Blue, Mr. Red, and Mr. White met for dinner. When they took off their jackets, 
Mr. Blue drew everyone's attention to the fact that each of them was wearing a shirt whose color was different from their last name. The man in the white shirt looked surprised and said, Yeah, Mr. Blue, you're right. Can you figure out what color each man was wearing? Mr. Blue can be wearing only a white or red shirt, but we know for sure that a different man is wearing a white shirt. This means that Mr. Blue must be wearing a red shirt. Mr. White could be wearing a blue or a red shirt. But the red shirt is already taken by Mr. Blue. Therefore, Mr. White is wearing a blue shirt. That means Mr. Red is wearing a white shirt. How about this picture? Do you see any odd emojis here? This one over there. Jessica was a famous art dealer. Many painters were dreaming of working with her. One day, she entered an art class and noticed a stunning landscape. Wow, who painted this masterpiece? She asked. Three artists came up to her. Each claimed he was the author of the painting. Can you help Jessica identify the real author? It's the guy over here. His palette contains exactly the colors that we see in the painting. Take a look at this picture. Can you spot what's wrong here? Dolphins don't swim in forest lakes. Once, a strict king ruled his kingdom. The magical town where he lived was surrounded by high walls. No one was allowed to leave the town and anyone who wanted to enter the town had to have special documents. If they didn't, they were sent away. The Magic Kingdom was connected with the rest of the world with a wooden bridge. It was under the watch of the King's Wizard, who drove away all uninvited guests with his magic. He would walk out to check the bridge every five minutes, and he would then stay inside for another five minutes. To cross the bridge, a person needed nine minutes, and still, one citizen managed to escape the town. How did he do it? The man was walking across the bridge for about five minutes while the wizard was inside. After that, he turned back and started walking toward the town. When he reached the wall, the wizard asked for his documents. The man didn't have any, so he was sent away. Maggie is an art critic. One day, she decided to visit a fancy restaurant famous for its unique art collection. Maggie took a seat and began to study the paintings hanging on the walls. When the waitress approached her table, Maggie asked how old those paintings were. The waitress said that they only had 18th century art pieces in the restaurant. Maggie left that place immediately and wrote an angry review on their website. Liars! Why? Look at this portrait. Do you recognize this face? It's the waitress. It's very unlikely that she's more than 300 years old, unless she's a vampire. So, have you ever wanted to start a blog? Well, that's a sign. And this test will help you decide which type of blog will suit you best. Are you ready? Grab a piece of paper and a pen and record your answers. I'll let you know the results at the end of the video. Now let's start with your personality. Which three words would you say describe you best? A. Creative, resilient, perfectionist. B. Attractive, confident, creative. C. Active, adventurous, social. D. Kind, funny, sensitive. Or E. Smart, focused, determined. Do you have any hobbies? Pick it if it's on the list. If not, pick something that's closer to you and that you'd like to try. A. Cooking B. Music, photography C. Hiking D. Reading or E. Computer programming Now, choose a color that best reflects your personality. A. White, the color of peace and cleanliness. 
B. Royal purple is my choice. It's the color of wealth and nobility. C. Green is the closest to me. It's the color of life and nature. D. My color is happy and joyful yellow. All the best things are yellow. Sunshine, autumn, dandelions, and bananas. Or is it E. Blue? This color symbolizes inspiration, freedom, and harmony. Maybe you can relate to that. What's your favorite way to spend a Friday night? A. I like to stay at home, cook dinner, and maybe bake something as a treat. B. I go out with my friends and we have fun. C. Go for a walk and wander around the city, preferably somewhere new. D. I like to stay in bed with a book or a movie and some snacks. E. I meditate, do some self-care, and think of my plans and goals. Now tell me, what's your favorite social media? A. Reddit B. Instagram C. YouTube D. TikTok Or E. Twitter Think of your budget and the way you spend money. Aside from food and bills, what do you spend the most money on? A. Kinship utensils B. Going out C. Traveling D. Books Or E. Online courses Now, pick your favorite food. Again, if it's not in the photos, just pick something that's more your style. A. Something fancy-looking like seafood B. Salads and healthy food C. Something creative from a different culture D. Pizza, yum. Or E. Coffee and croissant. Now, just pick an outfit that represents your personality. Make your choice and don't forget to write it down. A. Something comfortable and homey. B. Something fancy, expensive looking. C. Outdoorsy D. Something neat and simple Or E. Office style Your birthday is approaching. There's a choice of 5 gifts you can receive. What will you pick? A. A set of new shiny pots B. A gift certificate to a mall C. A good and big backpack D. A new set of books from your book list. Or E. Coffee machine. Out of these famous fictional characters, who do you think is more like you? A. Monica Geller from Friends. B. Jay Gatsby from The Great Gatsby. C. Bilbo Baggins from The Hobbit. D. Hermione Granger from the Harry Potter franchise. Or is it E, Lisa Simpson from The Simpsons? What's your favorite vacation destination? A, a city life. Staying in an Airbnb, going to local restaurants, and getting to know the city. B, a cruise, where I can fully relax and take good vacation photos. C, remote places where tourists don't usually go. D. A beach. There's nothing better than spending time at the sea or by the pool and watching a movie in the hotel at night. Or E. The mountains, where I can be by myself with my thoughts and come up with new ideas. When you travel to a different city or country, what are you most excited about? A. Food. I love trying different cuisines. B. I love to dive into city life, visit restaurants and clubs, and of course, take many photos and post them. C. I enjoy the scenery and talking to the locals. I love to immerse myself in new environments. D. I love to wander around the city without maps and discover vintage stores and bookshops. Or E. I look forward to visiting museums and exhibitions. You're a traveler walking through the woods. 
You can go anywhere you want, and there are five roads waiting for you. Which one do you choose? A. I'll go towards the river. There's water and some fish I can catch. B. Towards the road. I don't want to get lost. The road means there's a city somewhere out there. C. I'll go towards the mountains. There must be beautiful scenery, and maybe there's a hiking trail. D. I'll go further into the woods and enjoy the experience. E. I'll just turn around and go back where I came from. I don't have time for this. You're on a vacation exploring old caves, and you find a magic lamp. You know what to do. Rub it! So you rub, and a genie appears. But what a bummer! The genie says that you only have one wish. Having three is a myth. What will you wish for? A. Unlimited supply of food. B. Unlimited amount of money. C. A teleportation machine. D. The ability to travel in and out of fictional worlds. Or E. The ability to freeze time. Now, imagine you got access to a time machine. Where would you travel? A. I would stay in my time. I would rather travel across space, not time. B. To the Victorian times, with fancy balls and dinners. C. I would go to ancient Egypt or Greece. D. I would go a century into the future. E. I would sell it or start giving tours. Imagine that you already have a successful blog. What would you be most pleased to hear about it and you from other people? A. I love your aesthetic and everything you post is amazing. B. You live an amazingly interesting life. I wish I could be like you. C. You have amazing content and you inspire me to try new experiences. D. Your content is interesting and fresh. I rely on you for your recommendations. Or E. You inspire me to grow and be better every day. I hope to be successful like you one day. Now, count your answers. Do you have more of A's, B's, C's, or D's? Then it's time for the results. So what type of blog should you start? If you have more A's than anything else, then you should consider starting a cooking blog. You probably like cooking or baking, and it's a great way to share your knowledge with the world and try something new. The blog will motivate you to be better and learn more about your hobby. If you got more bees than anything else, then you should start a lifestyle blog. You're probably a very attractive and open person living a very interesting life. You're sure to find many friends, admirers, or just people who will love watching you and learning about your life. Did you get more C's? Fun fact, it resembles my report card. <laughs> well, I guess you live moving around, and traveling is your true passion. A travel blog is definitely a thing for you. You're a well-traveled person, and you can tell people about it, sharing your experiences and inspiring people to explore the world. Was D your most common answer? Then you could try starting a blog about books and movies. You could write reviews, post quotes, make recommendations, or just share interesting details about what you have noticed. It's up to your creativity, and you'll find a lot of like-minded people. Finally, if you pick most ease, then you should consider starting a professional blog on the topic you're qualified in or a productivity blog. You're a hard-working and successful person, so you could share your secrets and inspire people. It's always good to have someone to look up to, and you are a great role model. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.